my name is Manuela Pena. I'm Alistair. My name is Colin Luke. I did my medical school in Université Laval. I'm a really curious student and I'm always asking questions, sometimes a bit too much, but that's like my personal key. I came to where I am now at McGill University in the human genetics department, where I've been working in the lab of Dr. Bernard Bray on egg 3 myofibril myopathy. And soon I will be transitioning to the lab of Dr. Natasha Chang, who works on Duchenne muscular dystrophy in satellite cells. I'm a physiatry resident, soon to be neuromuscular fellow, doing my residency here in Kingston, but will shortly be moving to London. I exist outside of medicine. I love plants, have a, almost 200 of them of various species. I am a neurologist and currently I'm completing an ALS clinical research fellowship at the University of Alberta. I completed my medical school training and PhD in neuroscience at the U of C. I moved up to Edmonton to the U of A where I completed my neurology residency training. I am a first year post postdoc in Jim Dowling's lab at the kids. My life experiences have really developed my personal attributes, specifically driven my enthusiasm to pursue a career in finding therapies for rare genetic diseases. I would say that it was a very serendipitous start. Um, I was first introduced to NMD research in 2015. Um, this was through my work at the Zebrafish Core facility at the kids. Um, now as a tech at the core, I worked very closely with clinician and scientists with the overall goal of generating zebrafish models for a wide range of childhood disorders. And many of these were NMDs. At the time, my graduate studies were more focused on understanding the interplay of genes and environment on disease development. But I was really curious of how to understand this and this complex interplay in the context of NMD. From the moment I became interested in medicine, neuromuscular disease and disorder was always something in the back of my mind to a certain extent. I had a few key experiences, I would say, in residency that really turned my path a little. Being on our general neurology service at Queen's, we I was very fortunate to be there at a time when we had a lot of very interesting neuromuscular cases, which certainly sparked my intellectual curiosity, and that was very stimulating. But also at Queen's, we had a longitudinal multidisciplinary neuromuscular clinic, which you participate in every month as a physiatry resident, and meeting a lot of patients with neuromuscular disorders and being able to help them live their best lives made it a bit of a population of interest for me. And so combining the two sides, the more diagnostic and treatment side with the more symptom management and rehabilitation side, I think was really what brought me to it. This is a population where I like the patients and I get on well with them and I think I can make a difference in their lives. It was probably back in 2016, you know, I, I met my current supervisor, Dr. Sanjay Kalra. Um, so at that point, Dr. Kalra was developing a, uh, a North American wide kind of multi-site neuroimaging study. It was called CALSNIC. And the purpose of this was to uh, help monitor uh, brain changes in ALS patients. Um, and as part of this study, you know, back in 2016, I started uh, being able to see some of these patients and, you know, kind of guide them through the study uh, as they were uh, involved with us. I went to Frederican, uh early in my uh, formation and I discovered uh, Dr. Hukamu, uh, who is a physiatrist also uh, specialized in a lot of things but especially uh, ALS. I was amazed by the capacity of helping people in medicine like you can be in the emergency room and really saving people but outside of this it's hard to really um, give something to the patient and I really felt that, I really felt that we could do something for them. And I, I was really, really interested by this um, possibility in neuromuscular disease. I first became involved in neuromuscular disease here at McGill in my PhD, and I had actually joined the human genetics department, and I had joined Dr. Bernard Bray's lab thinking I was going to do some work on exome sequencing on one of the diseases he was working on, but I ended up switching projects and ended up going with um, this myofibril myopathy project, which was far more muscle-oriented, and that's what I stuck with for the entirety of my PhD, and that project's gone really well for me, and now I'll be transitioning into an other lab that's focused on muscular dystrophy and satellite cells.